Okay, so we're here at Retro Kits with Garrett, Super Booth 24. Hello. Hey, man. I, it's only so loud, I can hardly hear you, but... Uh, <laughs> Are you enjoying the show? Yeah, certainly. Yeah, we just had a little fun with Analog Kitchen here on our stand, and uh, yeah, people seem to like uh, what we do still, so uh, hey. time to... Yeah, another, another successful Super Booth already. Nice, nice. And wh what have you brought oh. to the show this year? What have you brought to the show oh, this year? Yeah, for this uh, show we um, made a, uh, a modular version of our RK008. That's our uh, multi-track uh, MIDI recorder. And um, yeah, we just want to see what people think of uh, this device in modular form. We have a three unit RK8 and a one unit RK6. The RK6 is this little yeah, uh, hub actually. It's a MIDI interface, but also a uh, standalone USB MIDI host. And you can switch TRS outputs to also to gate or to CV signals. So yeah, it's a really useful utility, and therefore the one unit format in modular is well, quite suitable. So we thought, uh, let's convert it. Excellent. Let's see yeah. how it goes. So that's converted from this. Um, yeah. This let's say these two, and those two. <laughs> Amazing. So I've, I've got the stuff uh, set up a little bit, also with the. Uh, RK2 and uh, yeah, so you can play uh, the K oscillator with uh, a normal keyboard. Yeah, we have here. Let's see. Can you hear it? Or yeah, yeah. So now you can uh, actually play the K oscillator with a normal MIDI keyboard. But yeah, us being uh, as uh, difficult as we are, we wanted to do a normal keyboard hosted via USB through the RK8 back into the uh, K oscillator. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And what does this offer in terms of functionality for modular users? The RK8, well, it's it's very, uh, yeah, uh, expanded brain for recording MIDI. You have uh, like eight tracks. Each track can record 16 manage, uh, channels of MIDI. And it also has a multi-length capability, so you can have a, yeah, a part. This is a part, a big number is a part. You can, for example, compare those with uh, Ableton clips. And in those parts are eight tracks, which you can fill with uh, MIDI data. And uh, yeah, you have also, let's see if I have a part with some content like this. You can not only record real time, like everything you play, pitch, band, controllers, but you can also go into a step time mode. You can step to, through the timeline and see what's in there. Uh, even on uh, event level, that's uh, something new. Uh, yeah, we're constantly updating the uh, firmware of the RK8 and the old one as well. And this one just lifts on on the same firmware. So uh, excellent. And is this available now? Um, how much? Well, does the RK8 like this is available, but the uh, module we're checking out how people like it. Uh, yeah, if we can make it, then it, we will probably have it by the end of this year. It's, uh, already the software is already pretty good, so uh, yeah, great. And how do you go about programming something which will send MIDI notes to something like a K oscillator? Mini, yeah. How how does that how well, does that programming work? Yeah, you can. Uh, we've made a, a DUI portal. We call it. It's uh, like a, the the uh, part on a website in which you can uh, download ready-made software already. But you can also uh, create your own. And, and normally, or it was before, you could use the Arduino DUI with a, with a yeah, RK2 board. This is the RK2. But now you can just go into the browser, select something you would like to upload, like this. Or if you want to edit it, you just click on Edit. And I have to log in first because uh, I have time out just a moment. Like this. So and here you can see the code where it's made of. So I can also choose a simple one uh, like this. So this is like a very simple piece of code, which just uh, the RK2 has the whole uh, yeah uh, system for collecting MIDI messages and already doing the hard work on uh, on processing MIDI. So the only thing you have to do is just intercept MIDI messages. And well, for example, here I have a note on message. And whenever it receives a node on, it will send a control change on the same channel, controller one. 
and the velocity value will be sent to controller one. And that's a very simple modifier you can make, but you can expand on it a lot. You can, you can even uh, select, uh, yeah, you can we use the pins on the DIN 5, which are not used for MIDI. Oh, These yeah. are the pins. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. use them for switches, or you can even generate video on it. No, so, really. uh, yeah, it's uh, really a little uh, tooling cable, <laughs> utility cable. Well, I'm sure this is going to be popular in the modular format, no doubt about well, it. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, we thought it was pretty useful already, so and uh, we got also from uh, people who use our stuff, the, um, yeah, we, we noticed that they were already using it in a crossover form because, well, with the RK6, it's already not just MIDI, but yeah, if, uh, on the side, you can, you can change the ports also for specific modular stuff, and uh, yeah. It's a good, a good link, I think. Definitely, definitely. Well, thank you very much for showing us through that today, Garrett. No problem. Bye.